Okay, the last thing we're looking at is schedules of reinforcement. And yes, I, I, I intentionally put a picture of slot machines here, and you will see why. But schedules of reinforcement has to do with how, when, and how often reinforcement is given. The, the schedule determines how quickly a behavior is learned, and it also determines how long it lasts once the reinforcement disappears. That's called persistence. How long the behavior lasts once the re, uh, reinforcement disappears. Now, there are five schedules we're looking at. The first one is continuous reinforcement. Reinforcement is given after every response or behavioral response. Behavior here is learned rather quickly, but there is little persistence. That is, once the reinforcement stops, the behavior quickly stops. Fixed interview reinforcement is given after a specific time increment or interview. For example, a reward would be given after every 10 minutes if the behavior were present. So you see an increase of behavior right up until the reinforcement, and then kind of a dip in it, and then a rim, yes, there it goes again, and then etc., etc. Uh, there is little persistence here once the reinforcement stops. And then you can see it there compared to the other ones. Variable interval reinforcement. Reinforcement occurs after the, uh, after, uh, the first behavioral response. Variable reinforcement. And then it's given at varying lengths of time. So it's given after the first behavior, but then the varies. As long as the behavior uh, um, persists, the time in between, see, varies, all right? Uh, slow, steady rate of learning with no pause after reinforcement. However, uh, there's a little bit more persistence after the reinforcement stops here, all right? Variable interval. Fixed ratio uh, reinforcement. Reinforcement occurs after a set number of behaviors. After three bar pressings, uh, the mouse gets a pellet. Fairly rapid increase in behavior, however, little persistence here. That is, there is a, a little behavior doesn't continue after the reinforcement stops. Variable ratio, and there you see there, reinforcement vary numbers after response, all right? Reinforcement after a varying number of behavioral responses. It's the most powerful type of reinforcement schedule for learning and maintaining behaviors. That is the greatest persistence of all the reinforcement schedules. Once the reinforcement is discontinued, the response behaviors continue the longest. And why, you can see all four of them, this is the variable response. Why did I include a slot machine? Well, a slot machine is the perfect example of that. You don't get rewarded every time you put a coin in the slot, but sometimes you get it rather quickly, sometimes there's long increments between. So it varies both in times and, uh, and uh, in terms of time intervals and in, ten in terms of behaviors. So that is the best way. So to make new behaviors appear or an old behavior disappear, continuous reinforcement at first, but then move to variable reinforcement. Trying to get hand raising, first you hand raise every time you see it, but then you hand raise maybe twice, a, uh, tw then you reinforce hand raising every three or four times and you vary it. Uh, another way of using variable, inter variable ratio or variable types of reinforcement is that you reinforce different things. During the morning break, I may say, you know, I saw three good examples of friendships today, and you give some sort of reward or reinforcement for that. So I'm reinforcing and rewarding different positive behaviors. With all these, you want to have a slow fade with the reinforcement, so they're not dependent on the reinforcement. So the goal is to learn the behavior and not to be reinforced every time. All right, that is kind of confusing. You may have to stop or reread this, but it has to do with schedules of reinforcement, and we found that variable racial reinforcement is the most powerful kind.